Hey guys, thanks for tuning in. Just wanted to touch base with you from uh, Siem Reap, Cambodia here. You know, um, after spending three months in Koh Samoy and Koh Phangan and then down in Bali on the islands, uh, being back on mainland is, you know, significantly different and it's taken some getting used to. Um, but one of the biggest surprises I've experienced so far here in Cambodia is the price difference for things. You know, I've have, I have amazing hotels for incredible prices, but then when it comes to uh, tourism related items such as tours and uh, motorbike rentals, they're really expensive. Uh, I did not expect that. So if you're planning on coming to Cambodia, Siem Reap, Phnom Penh, uh, plan on spending quite a bit more on rentals and tours. Um, I really didn't expect that. So for instance, uh, one day at Angkor Wat is $37. Uh, a one-day motorbike rental is like 17 to 20 dollars whereas in Thailand they're like five bucks so um, Definitely want to adjust for that if you are planning on coming here uh, Let me just show you my hotel at least you can get a great place to stay for the money but when it comes to actually touring the uh, Local area or any of the temples. I am really blown away by how expensive it is um, Compared to everything else the food's really cheap the hotels are really affordable for a really good hotel But then when it comes down to the things that you actually come here to visit they literally are bending you over in regards to uh, Anything that's tourism related which is actually very surprising to me. So uh, I'll probably end up just renting a motorbike and heading out to some of the temples on my own uh, but the one that I won't be able to do that for is obviously Angkor Wat. So if you guys have any questions, please uh, leave some comments. Uh, but yeah, that's this is uh, where I'm at, touching base here in Siem Reap. I'll be here for almost two weeks more, so I'll try and get some stuff up for you guys uh, for Siem Reap, Cambodia. Thanks.